We're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but that's exactly what we do, and for good reason, because the cover tells you a lot about what to expect inside. The contents of a novel may simply be text, but many books involve far more graphic design. This is the story of the design of Wombat Goes Walkabout, an illustrated children's book. Well, Wombat was written by a very well-known children's author called Michael Morpurgo, and it was aimed at target market of three to six-year-olds. But actually, the way it was written, it's such a classic that it will certainly appeal to older children as well. So it had a very classic feel about it. It's a picture book, so there's lots of artwork, and the artwork and the text have to complement each other in order for the book to work. My role is the link between the words and the pictures. You could have the best written text and the most wonderful illustrations, but without the design input, you could have an unsuccessful product. You have to make sure that you're combining both elements in a way that's appropriate to the audience and appropriate to the reader. Well, I think out of the um, four formats that we shortlisted for One Back Goes Walkabout, um, I felt that probably this one was the most appropriate. Nice, um, yes. Particularly for the age range, three to six and up, I think this is probably substantial, but it's not too big. Mm. So I, I based my layouts on this size. So I've looked at the... Um, Sophie has mapped out the book on paper, showing how she intends to divide up the text and combine it with the illustrations. These are her layouts. Two pages are known as a spread. It's very important that the editor and designer work closely together on all aspects to be sure that we are interpreting the text in the right way. Awesome. If we could fit in a spread between him having met up with all the animals, mm. being on his own and ending with those words, he right. climbed and he climbed and he climbed. We work together to ensure that um, the pacing's right, that we're not overcomplicating the images, that we're saying the right things. Books come in a standard number of pages, so if a spread is added, another has to be removed. These layouts will be the blueprint for the final book. What I wanted to do in, in these next five, six spreads mm -hmm. is really emphasise the um, characteristics of the animals. Mm. So where you have um, the kookaburra flying high in the sky, looping the loop, mm. he could be looping the loop around the text. Yes, yeah, very nice. And where you have wallaby hopping, skipping and jumping, he could be doing that around the text as well. Yeah. Perhaps using a, a sketchbook idea. So almost as if the reader feels that they're sitting beside the artist as he drew that very sort of of the moment sketch. Sophie can now work on her ideas in more detail, combining rough sketches with text. To get the sketchbook feel she wanted, choice of materials and papers was crucial. Christian's delivered the first three pieces of the um, final artwork. And not only has he done these final artworks for these large full-page bleeds, he's also done some um, experimenting with various types oh, of colour mm -hmm. and paper. This is on this sort of mottledy paper, which I think is quite nice, it's quite earthy. So as well as doing some colour sketches, he's also been working on some pure pencil sketches with no colour at all. And he seems to be much happier and more comfortable you, with you pencil. You can see that, can't can. you? They are just wonderful. They've got such movement and delicacy. But obviously we can use this paper, and I think we ought to, because yes. it will give it that really earthy feel. Yes. So we can um, th use high-res scans and, and place this paper underneath, so it'll end up looking as though the, the pencil sketch mm. was actually done on this, on mm. this paper. Mm. Publishing is a commercial business, so obviously we have to um, consider the cost implications. We have to ensure that uh, we use paper that's economical. We don't want to use cheap paper, we want to make sure that it's right for the product. Because it was a very classic story, I wanted to use a very classic typeface. Um, I also made sure that the way I arranged the type um, was relevant to um, the actual content of the page. For instance, with the, with the one about going up the hill, it made sense to have the text arranged so it looked like the text was fitting the, the shape of the hill. 